I want to add uh, one more insight into the apology that we're seeking from the from the White House, and it would to be due with uh, what we call changing consciousness. Uh, consciousness is a group belief on what it believes to be true, you know, what it knows about the world that the Creator made. So, time ago, we got our information from the Earth from all the teachings wherever we lived on the earth. We knew there was a world you could see and worlds you could not see. So we were very spiritual people. So this was the source of our knowledge that we knew that it was run by the, by a creator or an intelligent system. And it had order to it, cycles, seasons. Um, we knew all of this. And so um, our communities, they look like this. We had at the root, we had our spirituality, ceremonies, cultural teachings, we children, boys and girls. We knew how to raise those children into um, becoming adults. And so when we were this way a long time ago, we had a very high level of consciousness, a very high level of understanding about medicines, about the earth, about the stars. Uh, about how things worked. We were very bright and very brilliant about our, our environment. Then, of course, what come along was uh, the government's solution to the Indian problem. One of them was to take the children away from the communities and to re-educate them or to assimilate them back into the dominant culture. And so as a result of what they taught us, what it uh, left us with, instead of our teachings, we end up with a layer of anger, guilt, shame, and fear. And then we started to carry the historical trauma, the things that happened in those boarding schools. We now know that we pass them down from one generation to the next. And so when we take a look at the historical trauma, it's very deep in our psyche. And then at times, some of it starts to surface. And so we see uh, suicide epidemics or we'll see uh, violence occur. And so it left us with a lot of issues, internal oppression, fatherless homes, drugs, sexual abuse, etc. And so what the apology is about is the teaching that they give us to help stop this transfer from one generation to the next. And what we need to take a look at is one of the instructions was about forgiving, even forgiving the unforgivable. And if we are able to do that, a great healing will take place across our lands. So the teaching that they gave us was recognize, acknowledge, forgive, and change. And with the apology, what we're after here is an acknowledgement. We want the government official, hopefully President Obama, to say just like they did in Canada, like they did in Australia, where the government acknowledge the abuses that took place among uh, our relationship between the government and us in terms of of what happened to us because it's connected to our current day issues. So what we're saying here is that we have a different consciousness now. And as we get into this healing, what we want to do is to shake up that consciousness. We want to start talking about uh, the truth, about finding honestly what happened, about not keeping secrets, about bringing back culture, the spirituality. And this apology will help us to raise that consciousness so that we can heal faster. So once we get the apology and it comes to our consciousness and our communities, if we start to talk about it, then we can start to talk about our secrets. Uh, we can start to do the, the healing that we know how to do. We can start to do our culture. And so we, as we are able to follow the teachings, recognize, acknowledge, forgive, and change, then we can follow our circles. We know that we are able to forgive, that we can start to process the pain, the hurt, the issues, the seven generations that we're carrying around, you see, inside of ourselves, bringing back the culture. As soon as we bring back the culture, that knowledge that we had a long time ago, then what you'll start to see is a raising of the consciousness. All of a sudden, we start to see how the Creator originally made us inside all along and as we start to return to the culture the values the traditions the ceremonies the dances the teachings as we start to do that 
we start to come back to be the type of communities that we originally were and back to our very high level of consciousness our very high level of a understanding of the way that the creator made the universe so we're asking you this you can help us reach and change this consciousness by signing this petition this petition is a uh, uh, on the White House website, uh, you go there, it'll take you right to the website. They're only asking for a couple of things, your name, uh, your email address. Then they'll send you an email, and then you got to go to your emails and acknowledge that you got it. As soon as you do that, it will count as a signature. And we're after 100,000 signatures by uh, August 27th. So we appreciate you listening, and we hope that you will pass this information on to encourage other members, it doesn't have to be native people. It can be red, yellow, black, or white. We just need 100,000 signatures. It can be our Canadian brothers and sisters. It can be uh, any organization, any of our tribes can sign. So please help us reach this goal of 100,000 signatures so that it helps with our healing. Thank you very much.